It arrived. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my Lanta. A letter from Susan herself. Well, oh, thank you, Susan. Very kind of you. I can't freaking believe I actually own one of these now. <sighs> this is all thanks to you guys and this little three-foot killer. I'm beyond grateful because you guys let Chucky Boy own this. You guys right there staring from the other side of this screen. Can you even see yourself? No? Okay, well. Anyway, thank you. I don't know, is it? Should I, should I put it up? I don't know, it's kind of pretentious, isn't it? I'm just gonna put this above my toilet and I can see myself every time. Like, you freaking did it, you. So in honor of me getting my silver play button, I thought, why not go ahead and do an update on what's going on with Child's Play? And more specifically, original OG Charles Lee Ray Brad Dorif Chucky. I wouldn't have my channel where it is today if it wasn't for the little guy, so I need to show him some love to return the favor. What we're gonna be talking about today is how many more movies Don Mancini is planning to make of the Child's Play series, along with some updates and questions you guys have asked me about the Child's Play TV series. So before continuing on guys, make sure you're hitting that like button, comment down below what you think about these upcoming movies, and why has there been little to no information about the Child's Play series. So starting off with the movies, Don Mancini was doing an interview this year on a smaller known podcast, probably why no one has talked about it, but I have dug it up and we have the soundbite of him admitting how many movies he's planning to do. Here you go. The TV format, which is is really interesting to me because that will just the serial format where you've got so much storytelling real estate, we're going to have, you know, about 10 hours of story to do so you can really get into characters and relationships in a way that you can't service in a 90 minute film. Right. So that's going to be very interesting and a new way of of looking at this character and seeing what he gets into and at the same time we're also going to be doing at, at least two more movies oh great and hearing that puts me at ease as a fan of this child's play series because even though it has found its way on direct to dvd and we don't really see original chucky heading back to theaters anytime soon it's really satisfying to know that two more movies are planned to conclude this chapter of what happened with the end of cult of chucky i mean don mancini said it himself he would like at least two more movies so he has a plan for where this will go the biggest question to ask is is this going to be done after the television series before the television series if we're gonna have to watch the tv series to understand these upcoming movies because i'm still over here wanting to know what happened to andy because the way the last movie ended he is stuck in an asylum filled with dead bodies everywhere man looks pretty guilty even though he has a doll filled with guts inside of it right next to him i don't know how he's gonna explain that to the police not to mention the fact that chucky has this new ability where he can just jump into anybody's body specifically nika who was our main protagonist of this new trilogy of chucky where does that lead up? Along in this interview, he also mentioned 10 hours of Chucky, which is kind of different information than what we've gotten before, because as of now, we were promised eight hours of this television series, so that would lead up to about eight episodes, and him mentioning 10 hours means he got an extra two episodes in there, and I could always use me some more Chucky. And speaking more of the television series, I'm starting to get just a little worried, because this thing supposedly comes out next year. Don Mancini has said it himself, Child's Play TV series come out in 2020, and it's been very, very silent this far to bring you up to speed with this television series. So this will be original Chucky, Charles Lee Ray, a continuation from the end of Cult of Chucky. Now, continuation is used loosely in here because we don't know if they're going to directly answer everything that was done at the end of those movies. I'll touch more on that in a sec, but it's been confirmed that this will be on the Sci-Fi Channel. Don Mancini is involved with the project, and he also has Channel Zero executive producer Nick Ancosta which held a very beloved horror anthology series on Sci-Fi Channel. Don Mancini has promised to explore the characters of the Chucky universe like never before to really dive deep into them, which really gets me excited to see what he means with the character of Chucky and everything he's gone through over the decades. He also promises that this will be a full-on horror-filled Chucky, not much humor involved. I'm sure he'll still have his one-liners and personality being fleshed out, but to stay true to the roots, Chucky will 
will remain scary. Nick Antosca was specifically said that the show will feel more like the very first two Child's Play movies in terms of tone. We have had confirmed that some episodes will feature the characters of Andy, that is Alex Vincent's characters. We will have Nika, Jennifer Tilly, although it is said that they will not be the main focus of the series because the show will also bring on new characters. It's nice to know that they still will get their episodes here and there or at least mentions throughout the series. Even a character in passing that Don Mancini has mentioned that will be involved with the series is the character of Glenn and Glenda because during an interview he said we will get to find out what happened to certain characters like Glenn or Glenda and even though that has me a little worried about what you might do there it's a nice turnaround to redeem those characters in a horror aspect because weirdly I don't mind Glenn or Glenda as a character, I just hate what that movie was in Seed of Chucky. I know that's kind of confusing, but I kind of like the character of Glenn and Glenda. I just hate how they were portrayed in Seed of Chucky or how they were dealt with because there was something really interesting you could have done with the child of Chucky or the twins of Chucky. It's also up in the air if the television series will continue to be named Child's Play the TV series because Don Mancini has come out and spoken out about what he thinks of the reboot and although he is not very fond of it he is kind of upset that they rebooted it when he decided to make the series named Child's Play again when the remaining movies were called Blank of Chucky. So because of him probably wanting to distance himself from the reboot he might change the title of the television series. I don't know what they would go with, but Child's Play the TV series is all fine and dandy to me. But like I said, I am a little worried about where is this thing? Did the Child's Play TV series die? Because the Sci-Fi Channel is no stranger to canceling great programming. I have people all the time when they cancel a new show over there, they immediately tweet at me, see? I don't think Chucky's going to last long. And admittedly, I'm scared for that because we could just get one season of Child's Play and then the character is gone. I'm a little more reassured with Don Mancini saying he has two more movies planned. So even if the television series doesn't work out, he still hopes to make those movies. But if you're Don Mancini and you're trying to get the financing for Child's Play films and you just showed that the brand was canceled due to lack of interest, are they really going to finance your next Child's Play film? This is where it's up to us, the fans, to make sure we support this show when it gets on the air. Actually tune in to watch it live. So with that said, you guys sent in a bunch of questions that I'm going to answer about the Child's Play TV series just to get the hype going that hopefully something is announced soon, whether it be a teaser, a poster, heck, even a release date. But getting to your questions that you guys were asking about the Child's Play TV series. Here we go. Uh, Jimmy Garciano asks, do you think they will kill any of the main characters, Andy, Kyle, or Tiffany? Now, that's an interesting question because, like I said, we have confirmed Alex Vincent, Kyle, and Tiffany. Well, we don't know if Kyle's in it. I have to assume she will be somehow. And Tiffany. Now, I don't think they will kill the main characters in the television series. If these characters were ever to perish or be taken away from the legacy of the Child's Play series, I don't think it would be done in television form. I think Don Mancini would love to save that for the TV series, have Alex Vincent Andy go out on a high note as a hero, not on a one-shot episode on television. So, no, I don't think any of the main characters will die in the TV series, but these new characters that they're introducing, heck yeah, they're gonna go. Simon Armstrong asks, if Glenn and Glenda are in the show, what role do you think they'll play? So if they are in the show, at least they get one episode to themselves, I think the role they will play is one, they'll be telling us what they've been up to since Seed of Chucky, because you have to remember, that movie technically took place, what, 10 years ago maybe even a little more because it only takes place a couple years after bride of chucky and that movie was done in the early 2000s so technically those twins are pretty grown up now they're not little kids anymore so i would love to see what they have been up to obviously we saw the girl version glenda is more maniacal more sinister more like chucky where glenn is a sweetheart is kind did he separate himself from the family? Are the twins close to each other like most twins are? I would like to see what they have been up to and keep them more horror-centric instead of comedic. Redeem these characters because you know what? You created cool characters, you just didn't do cool stuff with them in Seed of Chucky. So I think that's what they will do is just show us what they've been up to and then give us the more horrific side of them. Uh, Andrea Grimm asks, what will the storyline be? Will they follow one storyline and continue it throughout the season? Or will each episode of each season feature a different family or victim? 
I'm glad you asked that because that's my theory on what they're going to do with the Child's Play TV series. Now, if you remember at the end of Cult of Chucky, Chucky has this new ability where as long as he touches a good guy doll or another human being, he can awaken a part of his soul into that person. And essentially, you could have multiple little Chucky's running around. What I assumed, especially with what they told us in Curse of Chucky, that Chucky has this completion disorder, that there's probably a lot of people in Chucky's past that he didn't end up getting to kill, that he in himself wants to desperately finish what he started the completion anxiety and so Chucky the man he is will waken a bunch of dolls and mail them to different locations different people he never got to finish some of you guys were throwing out theories that we could have an episode where Chucky goes to meet Tyler the little kid from Child's Play 3 since he was one that Chucky wanted to go after but didn't get a chance to we also have the original detective Norris that he didn't get to finish the job with the mom of Andy in this movie there's a lot of people that Chucky came in contact with and didn't finish the job that that now with this multiple Chuckies that he has he can send them off and each episode could be about this character so I think that would be fascinating because then you could have some characters where Chucky wins he actually finishes the job he's the winner and then you move on to the next person or you have other episodes where Chucky loses and he can die and it doesn't matter because there's other Chucky's running around so I think that would be the best way to do it kind of an anthology series and it wouldn't mess with the main timeline but at the same time I would like some answers as to what happened at the end of Cult of Chucky. So anyways, guys, that is just some updates and what's going on in the Child's Play universe. I'm very excited for the future of it. I just hope it's not dead in the waters. I still want to see OG Chucky, even if it's direct to DVD. The man is my guilty pleasure. I have a lot of fun seeing those films. And he's also helped me build the channel I have today, so I got to be grateful for that. But you guys hear about all this. Let me know what you think about it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3CFilmReview. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.